Let's do a quick recap. You know that simple cost allocation systems can lead to cost distortion. Cost distortion is when we have over-allocated and under-allocated manufacturing overhead. Next, we're going to take a look at an example of a simple system. In this example, we have three people, David, Matt, and Mark. They are three college roommates sharing an apartment together, and they agreed to split up their costs equally. They'll split up the cost of rent, cable TV, high-speed internet, and uh, groceries equally. The total cost of what they're going to be splitting up is 900 so each person will be paying $300 a month. Everything goes along smoothly for a while, and then after a few months, David comes and says, this is not working. I think I'm paying too much for my share of expenses. I never eat here um, because I always eat at my girlfriend's house, and I think $300 a month is just too much. Can we take a look at our allocation system? David says he only wants to pay for what he uses. So the three of them decide to sit down and refine their cost allocation system. Refine again means to make it more accurate. Their rent was $570. All three of them stay in that apartment, so they decide to split that equally. The cost of cable TV is $50. Well, Matt says, I'm always in my room and I never watch TV, so I don't want to pay for cable. So David and Mark decide to split the cost of cable equally. The internet is $40, and the internet is in the computer that's inside Matt's room, so the other two don't want to pay for that. Matt's the only person who uses the internet, so Matt decides to take the entire $40 for internet. Finally, they share the cost of groceries. David says, I don't want to pay for groceries because I eat every night at my girlfriend's place. Matt says that's fine. However, Mark should pay for two people because Mark's girlfriend eats at their place every night. So as a result, David doesn't pay for groceries and Mark, pay, Mark pays for two thirds of the groceries and Matt pays for one third of the groceries. Now, if you total up all their costs, it will show exactly what each person will end up paying. David will pay $215, Matt will pay $310, Mark will pay $375, and for a total of $900. The original allocation system over-allocated costs to David and under-allocated costs to Mark and Matt. David was paying $85 more than what he was using up whereas Matt was paying $10 less than what he was actually using up, and Mark was paying $75 less than the resources he was using up. So our more refined cost allocation system reduced cost distortion and made our cost allocation more accurate. Activity-based costing is a similar concept where we allocate uh, resources to products based on how much they use those resources, and that's what we'll talk about next.